Hi there. Welcome back to the channel, Stories with Mrs. Aldridge. I have another fall story for you, and it is called The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything, and it's written by Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest. She was going to collect herbs and spices and nuts and seeds. She had walked so long and so far it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. So the little old lady started to walk home. Because it's going to be dark soon, right? Can you see that? There. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And those shoes went clomp, clomp. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on down the path. But behind her, she could still hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. A little further on down the path, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Or you could do this, wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you. And the little old lady walked on. But behind her, she could still hear. So now we have shoes and pants. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt. And the shirt went, here's what the shirt does. Shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly old shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked, a little bit faster though. And behind her, she could still hear. Ready to do it with me? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. The two gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white shoes and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked just a little bit faster. And behind her, she could still hear. Two shoes go clump, clump. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one tall black hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking quite at a fast pace. Yeah, wouldn't you with all those things following you? She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very, can you see it right here? A very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went, ready to see what the head does? Boo, boo. <laughs> This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. And behind her, she could still hear. Ready to do it with me? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. Look at her, poor old lady. The little old lady did not look back. 
She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside with her door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked and she rocked. She's kind of holding her chest like she's a little scared, huh? It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock at the door. Should I answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Would you get the door? Goodness, no, I would not get the door. Wow, she's a brave lady. What do you think she saw? Ready, do it with me. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod. And one very scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, <laughs> bravely said the little old lady. What do you want anyways? We've come here to scare you. <laughs> You can't scare me. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. Hmm. I'm sure you already know. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded. And its face seemed to brighten up, it means get a little happier. The little old lady said, good night, and closed the door and walked and whistled on her way to bed. Hmm. The next morning, when she woke up nice and early, she went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? What do you think she saw? Well, you need to do it with me. <laughs> Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one very scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. And scare all the crows away. So what did all those things become? Yeah, a scarecrow in her garden. I like that one. That one's fun. This is a little, the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. I hope you liked it. I will see you guys next time. Remember, go subscribe. Bye, guys.